Hi guys, this is RN Daily Dose, formerly as Indai RN, and here I am to give you some helpful tips to maximize your study for the exam. And before we're going to start, please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on my channel, especially if you are new. Free U-World Questions a student nurse performs the morning assessment and obtains a urine specimen from a client with methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA who is in contact precautions. The registered nurse intervenes when the student performs which action? 1. Cleans the stethoscope with 2% chlorhexidine solution before removing it from the room. 2. Removes the urine specimen cup from the room in a sealed, leak-proof bag. 3. Scrubs the Foley catheter collection port with alcohol for 15 seconds before withdrawing a urine specimen. 4. Uses an alcohol-based hand antiseptic after removing gloves. A student nurse performs the morning assessment and obtains a urine specimen from a client with methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA who is in contact precautions. The registered nurse intervenes when the student performs which action? Answer. 1. Cleans the stethoscope with 2% chlorhexidine solution before removing it from the room. Explanation. Clients with a healthcare-associated infection, such as MRSA or vancomycin-resistant enterococci, are placed in contact precautions to limit the transmission of microorganisms through direct or indirect contact. A designated stethoscope is usually kept in the client's isolation room. The healthcare practitioner should clean the stethoscope and earpieces with alcohol before use, but should not remove them from the room. Option 2 The urine specimen should be placed in a leak-proof container and then put in a sealed plastic bag before transport to the laboratory. Option 3 To help prevent the transmission of microorganisms before collecting a urine specimen from a Foley catheter, the nurse should scrub the surface of the collection port with alcohol or chlorhexidine solution for 15 seconds. Option 4 The nurse can perform hand hygiene with an alcohol-based antiseptic solution after removing gloves, except when caring for a client with Clostridium difficile. For this type of client, the nurse should perform hand hygiene with 5 ml of soap and running water to help rinse spores down the drain. Educational Objective to prevent the transmission of microorganisms when caring for a client in contact precautions, the nurse cleans and disinfects equipment egg, stethoscopes, blood pressure cuffs, glucometer appropriately, practices hand hygiene, uses aseptic technique consistently, and double bags specimens before transporting them to the laboratory. The public health nurse conducts a program at the Community Senior Citizen Center about preventing falls at home. Which statement made by a participant indicates that further education is needed? 1. I bought a new nightlight for the hallway to the bathroom. 2. I feel so much more secure wearing my electronic fall alert device. 3. I walk in my stockings at home because it helps to relieve my bunion pain. 4. My daughter helped me secure the small, thin rug in my kitchen with strong tape. The public health nurse conducts a program at the Community Senior Citizen Center about preventing falls at home. Which statement made by a participant indicates that further education is needed? Answer. 3. I walk in my stockings at home because it helps to relieve my bunion pain. Explanation. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one out of three adults aged 65 experience a fall every year. Walking barefoot or while wearing stockings increases the risk of slipping on slick surfaces. Shoes or slippers with non-skid soles should be worn inside and outside of the home. There are multiple simple strategies that can help reduce falls in the home environment and these include Exercising regularly for 30 minutes three times per week increases strength, balance, coordination, and flexibility. Therefore, decreasing fall risk, maintaining a well-lit, clutter-free environment egg, 
adding night lights and removing or securing area rugs to the floor with double-sided tape options 1 and 4, using grab bars and non-skid bath mats in the bathroom, wearing shoes or slippers with non-skid soles, both inside and outside of the home, periodically reviewing medications and side effects egg, orthostatic hypotension with a pharmacist and or or healthcare provider HCP, getting regular vision exams, wearing an electronic fall alert device. The fear of falling increases fall risk and these devices provide the security of knowing help is available immediately if a fall occurs option 2. Educational objective, many falls in the home can be prevented by exercising regularly, getting regular vision exams, maintaining a well-lit, clutter-free environment, using grab bars in the bathroom, periodically reviewing medications and side effects with a pharmacist and or or HCP, and wearing an electronic fall alert device. The nurse in the same-day surgery unit admits a client who will receive general anesthesia. The client has never had surgery before. Which question is most critical for the nurse to ask the client during the preoperative assessment and health history? 1. Has any family member ever had a bad reaction to general anesthesia? 2. Have you ever experienced low back pain? 3. Have you ever had an anaphylactic reaction to a bee sting? 4. Have you ever received opioid pain medications? The nurse in the same-day surgery unit admits a client who will receive general anesthesia. The client has never had surgery before. Which question is most critical for the nurse to ask the client during the preoperative assessment and health history? Answer. 1. Has any family member ever had a bad reaction to general anesthesia? Explanation. Malignant hyperthermia MH is a rare but life-threatening inherited muscle abnormality that is triggered by specific inhaled anesthetic agents and the depolarizing muscle relaxant succinylcholine annectin used to induce general anesthesia. In susceptible clients, the triggering agent leads to excessive release of calcium from the muscles, leading to sustained muscle contraction and rigidity, usually of the jaw and upper body early sign, increased oxygen demand and metabolism, and dangerously high temperature later sign. As MH is an inherited condition, proper screening and a thorough preoperative nursing assessment and health history can help minimize the client's risk option 1. Option 2 Cervical spine problems should be assessed before the intubation. Low back pain history is not a priority for general anesthesia. Option 3 It would be appropriate to ask about allergies egg, drugs, latex. However, asking about an anaphylactic reaction to a bee sting is not the most critical question. Option 4 History of prior opioid intake may be helpful, but the most important question is to ask about side effects and allergies. Educational Objective Malignant Hyperthermia MH is a rare, life-threatening inherited muscular abnormality that is triggered by specific drugs used to induce general anesthesia. Therefore, it is critical for the perioperative nurse to screen for MH susceptibility by asking if any of the client's blood relatives had ever experienced an adverse reaction to general anesthesia, including unexplained death.